Hi there. When you're working on Excel, do you go into print preview to find out that things just don't fit? So let's take a look at this example here. I'm going to show you why you don't need print preview to get everything working just perfectly. So I went to file and print that gives me that preview right away. And I see from the spreadsheet that I'm looking at right here that I have one of four pages. And if I use that little arrow, it'll show me yeah, things are not fitting so great or looking so great in my spreadsheet. So now I have to go out of print preview and make the changes. But do I? Actually, I don't go into print preview rather than using print preview. Let's look at some of our other options. So if I have you look way down at the bottom right of your screen, you have what's called normal view. So that's the grid view. So we're normal right now, but who wants to be normal? Let's go on to the other two options that are right beside there. And the first one being page layout. So page layout really can help you take the place of that print preview because page layout says, hey, if you had to print this, this is what the page layout would look like. It's showing you your margins and it's showing you what is fitting on a printed page. So I can make my changes in here and not have to go into print preview. In fact, I could go right to the header area. So this white area at the top and I can put in whatever I like without again having to go into the print preview and go and find where the header stuff is. Let's just go a little further on the header idea for, for an example. I'm going to go to the top here. It has the web address. Let's move that out of there. And instead of putting the web address, let's maybe put today's date. And so while I'm in the header area, I want you to look up at the top and on the toolbar, I'm in the header and footer toolbar. And that's because where I am, popped up a new toolbar. So if I wasn't clicked in the header footer area, let me just demonstrate. I'll click somewhere in the spreadsheet. I have no header and footer toolbar, but if I click in that header area, I have a header and footer toolbar. Makes sense, right? So let's put in today's date. I'm clicked in this uh, right side area. I'm going to put in current date, which just means that it's an automatic feature of Excel that will automatically find today's date and put it on my spreadsheet. So when I print it out, it'll have the right date on it. Now let's say I want to move to the footer area. I can either scroll down to find that footer area. So if I click outside of this and scroll down, there's my footer area. Or instead of doing that, let's go back to that header and go to that menu that says header and footer again. And notice that it says go to footer here. So it can just jump me over there. And now I'm in the footer area. Let's change that to 2022. So I can just type in here and as well, let's grab another automatic piece of information. Let's grab the page numbers. So I can say uh, page number. And then if I leave a space, I can say of and space again, and then number of pages. So it'll be page one of four or how many ever pages there are. So we just make sure you put that spacing in there and that word of in there, whatever you want, however you want it to read. So you have that automatic option coming in, but you have some of your words in there as well. So let's go out of this now. So to get out of this, I can just click somewhere else in my spreadsheet and it takes me out of that header footer area. So now let's deal with things not fitting very well. So rather than going to print preview, I see that things are not fitting and I want it, I have to make some decisions. Do I want it all to fit onto one page or do I want to move things to two pages? Let's go the easy route and say, I want to have it all fit on one page. I don't know if that's easy or not, but I'm going to make some adjustments so that things fit better. So I can, of course, change my column sizes, change my font and things like that. So let's do some of those easy adjustments. I've made the changes to the columns as best as I can. So I've put things a bit tighter. And so the other choices I have is I can change the margins that I have, change that page layout, maybe change my font to make things fit better. The page layout right now, it, the orientation is landscape. So it is as wide as it can be for that piece of paper, as opposed to being portrait, which would be um, eight and a half by 11. I've got 11 by eight and a half. So I can't change that. So my options are the font size or perhaps the margins. So let's go to that page layout menu. And from page layout, we've got margins, 
And right now it is at the narrow margin option already, so I can't really get much narrower than that uh, in, because that may not print out properly. It, your printer needs a certain margin area. So my next option is possibly the font. So let's try that. So I'm gonna select everything with Control A, and then I'm gonna go to my font at the top and change it maybe just a little bit smaller to a 10 point. And I see that things are still not fitting perfectly because I probably have to adjust my columns again a bit more. Just turned off my filters so you can see my headings a bit better. Still have this one column that's not fitting very nicely. So I can, I can just say to Excel, you know what, just fit that last column in there. And you know the easiest way for me to do that is to go to the next button at the bottom. So if I go to that last button, not the normal one, but not the page layout one, but the next one there is page break preview. So if I click on that, that button shows me where my page breaks are, which I kind of see on the screen anyways, but it's this special thing about this is it's giving me this dash line showing me where the page breaks between column J and column K. And then of course, where the page breaks in terms of length um, from row 33 to 34. So if I want that last column, column K to just fit on the page. And so that, that means Excel is gonna have to figure out how to condense my information to make it fit. I can just take this page break and drag it over. So I'm gonna go on the line that's a dash blue and see how my mouse changes to that black double-headed arrow. Once I see that black double-headed arrow, I can just click and drag to the right. And now I have one page that is as wide as it needs to be and a second page uh, with just a little bit of information on it. So if I really wanna condense it, I mean, it's, it does mean my font's gonna be a bit smaller probably, but if I did wanna condense it, I could take that other dash line at the bottom and drag it down so now everything fits on one page. So next time, rather than doing print preview and then trying to adjust and adjust and print preview and adjust, why not try to get out of normal? So rather than being in this view, you can go to your page layout view, see how things are fitting there. And if that isn't helping you enough, you can certainly go to that page break preview to move the lines over the way you want. All right, so give that a try. Thanks, bye-bye.